group of people together, there's a core group of about five, and we had these raised beds. Mike Fahey, who teaches yoga in the stall, would be our inspiration behind it. And what we decided was to showcase for people how they could grow their own vegetables at home. And there's uh, quite a lot of people have taken up the practice of growing their own, you know, these raised beds, as they're called. Um, we've learned quite a lot about what you can and can't grow. The only thing that survived the winter straight through was kale. It survived the snow and everything like that. Um, the, the taste is unbelievable. The, thing, the great insight for me is rockets. Uh, rocket, you know, that you buy in the soap rack and everything. The rocket that you grow yourself at home is completely different to the, the taste of that. You'll see some of it there and taste it, see. The various herbs above there are very interesting at the top there. And what we do is we slow grow things inside in the greenhouse there and bring them out and plant them along there. Everything is well over a month later this year. We sprayed the spuds yesterday evening because according to <coughs> that lady, not Jean, not, not the Tarbert lady, the other lady is always, she, Evelyn Cusack, she loves having bad news. So <laughs> she, the, only reason, she, the only way she smiles <coughs> is bad news on the, on the, on the thing. But uh, she, has, uh, she has said that there's a blight warning for, for these, these days ahead. So just taste, taste as you go around and everything is edible and What's particularly nice, as I say, is the herbs below there and the peas. Take the peas off and just, uh, they're, they're filling out. But they're about, things are about a month behind already. And far below you'll see the, our sports and leisure complex, which has cost 300, the roof is going on it this year. It has cost 300,000 to date. Um, again, we've been building it two or three years. Uh, there's been no money borrowed in that. 460 families in the parish have committed to giving a fiver a year for three years. And um, uh, come a fiver a week for, what did I say, a fiver a week? Yes, that's right. <coughs> and <laughs> and uh, we have a, a, a committee of 19 that I'm just a member of the committee, but it's a very hard-working committee. And we've been promised the sun, moon and stars, but got nothing by way of grants yet, but please God, we will. And um, they're out, for example, they went door to door outside the parish selling blocks last year and they collected 22,000, which is a fantastic committee like. And they're at it already this year and they're committee, they have 7,500 collected. So it's, it's, uh, they're really hard working. We have a number of international basketball players in the parish. And um, as I say, the roof is going on at this year. These were all stables because what happened in the 1870s and 1880s was they turned the priests into the new landlords, having got rid of the landlords. And there was three priests in that presbytery here, and there was a farm going with it. And, um, well, there isn't there, that isn't there anymore. And we won't we won need the presbytery either. I went to the family at 10 now to fill it in Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy your photography in the garden and around the boat. And nice meeting you, and enjoy your... Um, Mr. Roach here and uh, all the all the knowledge that's inside in that head ready to uh, just flow around the place like dandruff, isn't that right? <laughs> Thank you, Father.